Hey everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this video, I will show you how to accelerate your Fire Stick or Android TV, Google TV launcher. This is an updated video and if you've already followed these instructions for a Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube, you should watch it again as the previous settings that I provided prevented the pointer in the downloader app from working properly in browser mode. You will notice when going between menus and screens on these devices that there is a lag and that's due to three different settings built into Android which powers these devices. Now these are transition settings where they try to make the user interface look more appealing but it cuts down on performance big time. I will show you how to change these three settings first on an Android TV Google TV system because it's much easier than the Amazon Fire TV stick. In this example, I'm using the $19 Walmart on Google TV 4K streaming box, but the same process will work on any devices running Android TV or Google TV. After this, I will then show you how to do this on a Fire Stick. Before I get started, be sure to get my free secret app store guide that will show you how to get thousands of apps not available within the Amazon App Store or Google Play. This is the reason why Fire TV and Android TV, Google TV devices are so popular. To get my free guide, simply click the link in the video description or scan this QR code with the camera app on your phone or tablet, fill out the form, and the guide will be delivered to your email inbox immediately. Okay, I'm gonna move over to the right, hover over the gear icon, click it, move down, choose system, about, I'm gonna highlight Android TV OS build and click this seven times. This will enable developer options. It says you are now a developer. Now, if you followed any of my tutorials in the past, you may have already done this because I show how to do this in pretty much any Android TV, Google TV tutorial that I do. I'm gonna click the back button on my remote, move down, developer options is now on the list. I'm gonna go into that. I'm going to move towards the bottom. And here are those three settings I was referring to. Now on Android TV, Google TV systems, we want to change all three of these to 0.5. You do not want to turn this off because the launcher will do crazy things. You just wanna turn it down to 0.5. back to the home screen, and now you're gonna notice going between these various pages and menu options, it's just gonna be much quicker. And you can think of it this way, that setting was set at one second, and we knocked it down to 0.5, which is pretty substantial, and you can see how quick the launcher is performing now. Okay, now I'm going to switch over to my first generation Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Now I've already done this on my second generation Fire TV Stick 4K Max, but I haven't on this model and that's why I'm doing it. Yes, it works perfectly fine on the new 2023 Fire Sticks. Same process will apply for any Fire TV model you are using. Now the first thing we need to do is go into settings, my Fire TV, and I want to go into developer options. Now for some reason this is not showing in your list, you need to enable it by going into About, highlight the name of your Fire TV device and click it seven times. Once you do that, it will say you are now a developer. Since I am already a developer, it says no need, you are already a developer. And then when you go back to the previous screen, it will be listed here. Go into Developer Options and we want to turn on ADB Debugging. Back to the home screen, now, if you don't already have the free downloader app installed, you wanna do that at this time. You can get it directly through the Amazon App Store by going into search, type in downloader, go ahead and install it. Now, I've already installed it on my device, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. When you see this prompt, you must click the allow button, click okay. Now I'm gonna click the up button on my remote Cursor is in the URL box. I'm gonna click the select button on my remote and I'm going to type in 250931. We need to get an application called ADB Shell. I'm gonna click go. This will open the TroyPoint toolbox. 
Now I have dozens of applications available for install through the toolbox. I strongly suggest marking this as a favorite so you can return to this in the future. Many Troy Point tutorials are based on the toolbox. To do that, simply hold down on the select button of your remote for a few seconds, click add current page to favorites, and then save. And you'll notice on the left side, we go into favorites, it's right here. In the future, you click it. You don't have to wait for the five-second load screen with the ads. Okay, I'm going to scroll down until I see ADB. Here it is. I'm going to click download, click install. It says application has been installed. Now, if this is the first time you use the downloader app, it's going to ask you to turn on unknown apps for the downloader app. When it prompts you to do that, go ahead and turn it on return to the installation screen and install. I'm gonna click the open button. And the reason we need to use this application is due to the fact that Amazon does not provide those same settings that we see in Android TV or Google TV. Just another reason why I prefer those devices over Fire Sticks. I'm gonna click okay. The cursor is blinking in the IP address box. I'm gonna click the okay button or select button on my remote. And I'm going to type in local host. Hit next. This will stay the same. Next. And now I can click connect. Click the checkbox and then click OK. All right, there's three commands now that we need to set through this that will allow us to adjust those transition settings. It's very important to take your time when inputting these code strings. Okay, here's the first setting for animator duration scale. In the video description, I will link to a post on our website with these commands. If you have a Fire TV remote app installed on your phone, you can copy and paste from our post on our website right into here. Or you can just take the time to type it out like I'm doing in this tutorial. Now, in the previous video that I did on this, I instructed people to input a value of 0.0, .0 but as I mentioned earlier, this causes problems with the pointer in the downloader app when in browser mode. It's impossible to hover over an item that you want to click. So you want all three of these settings to be 0.5 instead of 0.0, .0 just like we set on Android TV, Google TV devices. Now, if you've already done this, hold on for a minute and I will show you how to quickly input the new code without typing out that entire string. Okay, after double checking the code string for accuracy, I'm gonna go ahead and click the run button. That's extremely important that you're paying attention to the spaces in this string and the special characters, the underscores and the period. I'm gonna click run, back button. You'll see that it has been applied. Now, for some reason you made a mistake typing that in, you're gonna see an error. Go back and repeat the process and make sure you type it in the proper way. Okay, now I'm going to issue the second command. Okay, and here is the second command for transition animation scale. Okay, again, I'm double checking that I've typed this in properly. After I've done that, I'm gonna click the run button. Back button, the command has been sent. Now I'm gonna type in the final entry. And here is the code for the window animation scale. Again, double check and then click run. Back button. That has been processed as well. Okay, let's go to the home screen. You'll see it's much faster now going between these various shortcuts. Okay, let's say that you want to go in and change those settings that we just made. I'm gonna to go to the screen that shows all of my applications, open the ADB app, move down, and I'm going to long press the select button on my remote, and you're gonna notice we can go in and select the codes that we've recently issued. Okay, if you watched my previous video and used 0.0 in the three commands, you can quickly change those without retyping everything. All you need to do is come in here and change each of these to 0.5. So I can just choose the first one here, delete, 
hit five, so it's 0 0.5, and then click run. And then I would go through the other two and do the same. And that is how you can speed up your launcher on your Fire TV or Android TV, Google TV systems. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos like this in the future. As always, thank you for following Troy Point. Have an awesome day.